Hey guys, gonna get started in just a second here. We'll be cleaning all kinds of leather products today, a bunch of shoes and boots mainly. And today's just gonna be a speed round so I can process a lot of these, you know, lightly worn leather um, that need just a little bit of cleaning so that they can be perfect for their next home. All right. So I'm just going to try to get as many done as I can. Go ahead and ask any questions that you guys might have. Right now, this is just a pair of um, 2976 Chelsea boots by Doc Martens. And as you guys can see, there's just a little bit of scuffing there. And I'm just going to take a microfiber cloth with a little bit of my Shoe MGK cleaning solution and water. And I'm just going to give that a rub. And a lot of these things that I clean today, especially, um, again, they're not really that worn. They just need a little bit of TLC. And a lot of uh, what I'm cleaning is also just surface scuffs. It's not deep. It's not really restoration. But we're just going to see how many we can get done quickly. This one looks pretty much done, just with a little bit of rubbing. And a little trick that I do is um, this is like a full rubber. There's no type of um, like sand paper or not paper, but grit rather to this. Uh, it's just kind of like friction rubbing. And a lot of this, these uh, surface scuffs are caused by the uh, PVC rubber on the midsole, outsole here. So I'm just kind of creating more rubber. And as you guys can see, more friction rather, it takes that right off. It got on there with friction and uh, we get it off with friction as well. But those are very specific types of scuffs that I've learned to identify, especially when it comes to Doc Martens because of the PVC sole. All right, looking good. Again, these weren't in terrible condition, but because they're white, you can definitely tell uh, just minor details in reference to something like a black boot. But yeah, these are ready to go. Let's clean the next one. These are a pair of Tony Llama boots. These are definitely in a little bit more use condition, so let's go ahead and scrub down the whole thing with some shoe MGK. Got a little bit of water here. I'm gonna use my solution, and again, we're gonna be going pretty quickly today.
Did anybody have any questions about how to clean their leather? Yeah, are you guys just do you guys purchase on Poshmark or do you sell as well? All right, that's pretty much done. Let's go ahead and wipe it down with a micro microfiber cloth. And any portions that we see that didn't get cleaned, we're going to go back with our microfiber and give it a little bit of pressure if it is surface. So for example, um, this portion here, not sure what that is. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of pressure and our clean solution. Just run over that real quick. Now it's not seeming to come out. It does look like it is a little deeper. I'm gonna continue to get a little bit more cleaning solution. I'm gonna to continue to rub gently in that area. So much of the things that I do on the show for you guys actually is um, a lot of it is experimental for me personally. So I get to learn while I do this, just like you guys. This might be some type of glue, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Could be like manufacturer's glue. So I may uh, later on take some rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip or try to tackle it that way. course you got to be very gentle if you guys take that advice for yourself because you can uh, potentially take off the paint or the dye rather all right let's go ahead and go to the next boot and scrub it down. We're just repeating that same process where we scrub it up, the suds lift up the dirt and debris, and then we wipe it off so that it doesn't stay on the boot. And this one looks a little bit in better condition than the last one. Let's see if we can get some of these marks off here. Yeah, that one's coming right off. Yep. Yeah. So many of the damage or conditioning that happens on shoes is actually really fixable or repairable. So if you guys, you know, ever see, if you guys thrift or you guys are buying online like Poshmark, um, you know, there's a lot that you could fix uh, quite easily. It really depends on the item, of course, no promises, but so much, I'd say at least 50%, if not more, are just so easily cleanable and uh, repairable. All right. Let's do some more. These ones are pretty dry, actually. Not too familiar with the brand. It's called um, Mason Western, but let's go ahead and clean this boot as well.
go ahead and try to change this angle. Okay. Oh, and I need a charger. Give me a second. Back in business. Okay, and wipe it off. Hey there, Brandon. Uh, my name's Evan, and today I'm using my favorite cleaner. It's called Shoe MGK. Um, this is a uh, biodegradable solution. It's safe for, you know, your hands. It's safe for all your leather, suede, nubuck. And uh, essentially, it's a it's made for sneakers, really. But uh, I use it on all my leather products because it's very efficient. It's safe. Um, has natural jojoba and coconut oil in it. And um, just really versatile for all the things that I clean personally. So that's why I use it. You know, uh, I don't see why not. Now the brand isn't going to suggest that. So just keep that as a disclaimer. Uh, personally, I have not yet tried it for my car seats. I'll probably be doing that uh, in a video shortly on my YouTube channel. And I'll go ahead and leave that in the description for you guys. Um, so you can check it out. Um, but uh, on my YouTube, I um, clean all kinds of boots and shoes and things like that. Now, what I'm seeing for this one, actually, the boot itself is pretty dry. So I actually might um, take a little bit of sandpaper to it later on and um, just kind of smooth it out a little bit because there's quite a bit of cracking. Now, uh, you don't want to do that all the time, but just for the reasons that I have for restoration, that's kind of what I want to want to do. But this is pretty cool. This has a Vibram uh, sole to it. Let's go ahead and uh, do the other one. And these are pretty dirty, as you guys have seen. All right, so again, this one's pretty much done as well. It's just going to be letting these dry before I sand them. And um, really, a lot of it is sometimes just the cracking of the, like the old wax that builds up when people don't properly um, polish their boots and things like that. They just continue to add layer and layer and layer. Uh, and then they actually don't take those layers off and that wax gets old and it hardens and dries and then it begins to crack, especially on the toe area. So um, what we can do, sometimes it's the leather itself because it's not hydrated, but also it can be the um, polish or wax itself. All right, let's get to our next pair. Move to more Doc Martens. And actually, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and quickly just wipe this one down. Really doesn't need much. Again, we're doing things pretty quickly here. I just see some dust on the midsole, welt stitching. And 
And these are a pair of patent Chelsea boots. No, actually, Brandon, this is actually designed specifically for fabric, canvas, rubber, vinyl, nylon, and then, of course, leather, suede, and nubuck. So you can use it on all kinds of things. Again, this is a sneaker cleaner. It's so versatile. That's why I love using it. But that's a great question. And again, um, I put in the link there, the description, if you're interested in checking out the website, Made in America. Um, it's based in California, where I'm at. And um, you can get 15% off and free shipping if you use my code. All right. And I don't. there's not too much more that I want to do with this. I actually will probably just put a little bit of black shoe polish on the top. But let's clean this other one first. Awesome. And unfortunately, uh, when I got these, uh, they did not tell me that the insoles were missing, but I'll ha have to put some generic ones in there. Um, I'm actually going to dye some of this black, and I'm, I'll am i be using Fibing's leather dye. I think I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. I think it's Feebing's, actually. But yeah, that's the one that I use. Um, that's a great question, Brandon. Um, the brush that I use usually, um, is the shoe MGK brush. It comes with any cleaner that you get, I believe. And, um, this is just a really, it's like perfectly in between it, um, a softness, that, softness that's not going to scratch or, you know, ruin damage your leather and just strong enough that it gets a lot of the dirt and grime and whatever you need off now um you know you can push harder if you want in particular if there's something but um, i try to be pretty gentle and then i whenever i need to um, get a particular scuff off we'll go ahead and just use a microfiber cloth to um, put a little bit of pressure if there's some type of thing that i i'm trying to particularly get off that's what I would suggest. And ShoeMJK, I think on Amazon, has a brush set. There's like three or four brushes, um, like a four hair brush that they have, then this one, this black one, and then they have a harder uh, brush for like outsoles. All right, let's see going to take a little bit of this leather conditioner. This is great. I, I do use this one on my um, car seats, but this is just for conditioning. Not It cleans, but it's not, it's more of a conditioner than a cleaner. And I'm just using it to get the haziness off of this boot. All right, let's go ahead and use a, um, some shoe polish real quick. Just really basic, regular old shoe polish. And this is really going to elevate making your shoes uh, look mint. Just adding a little bit, not too much, just on the toe area. Doing that to both shoes here.
All right, and right after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it with a horsehair just to give it a really nice shine. So you can see, you know, it's shiny, but it has, you know, waxiness to it. And brushing it like that is just gonna relieve it. That gives it a really nice shine. You can do the rest of the boot as well. Awesome. Yeah, Brandon. Um, so it is it is a cleaner and a conditioner. Now I will suggest. So here's the thing. These are two of my favorite products. This one is way more of like a cleaner. It gets that, you know, age old dirt and grime off of leather that's been sitting on there for whatever reason, food, whatever. Um, great, great cleaner. It does condition it with the uh, jojoba and coconut oils, but it's not going to deeply condition it because it is still more of a cleaner than a conditioner. I would say um, if you have if you don't have this one already, this one just really soaks into the leather after you've cleaned it really well, and this one will keep your leather seats really supple. So highly suggest doing that. And all, of course, always try a test area before you go you know, full force on everything that you're doing um, just to make sure, because again, this is a shoe sneaker brand, um, but again, it is safe for your leather. So that's what I would suggest. But yeah, even if you just give it a try, it's not really, you know, if you don't like it, just return it, you know. All right, these ones are done. Okay, these are going to be fun. Should I save these? I think I might save these. Let's do... You're very welcome, Brandon. I'm actually going to do um, one of these other boots. I actually did an entire video on this boot. It's on my uh, YouTube. It's the Ariat boot. And I'm actually going to do the other side because I haven't done it yet. And I just, yeah, I need to get it up. So um, I took, so as you guys can see, this one looks pretty nice. But I transformed it with Shoe MGK and some other products. Um, from this into this so go ahead and check out my video on my channel that one was really fun and we're i'll show you actually right now how we do that so the first thing of course let's go ahead and actually i would clean it off first but because i want the dye to really settle in i'm actually going to dye the boot first so I'm just taking my Feebing's leather dye. And that's already, you guys can see, making a huge difference. The leather is just soaking it up. I mean, just look at that. Just getting really all those high traffic areas. People don't realize when there's a lot of scuffing or um, conditioning, dryness, etc., that you can literally just re dye your leather again and turn it back to not, you know, not, it's, it doesn't always go back to new, but oftentimes, um, you know, if there's not like huge scuffs and things like that. It can do really, really well.
it would have probably been best that I cleaned off the boot, let it dry for, you know, however long, 24 hours, and then, um, then dyed it. But um, due to our time crunch here, it's not that it's bad necessarily, it just may have been more preferable. As you guys will see, this is just going to turn out uh, really good either way. Okay, and that's give, that's drying. So what we'll do next is go ahead and hit it with our shoe MGK, give it a scrub. And of course, you guys can use shoe MGK on your bags, your belts, anything leather, uh, and then of course anything that is canvas or um, nylon rubber. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry actually a little bit because it is um, still wet. So I'll set this aside. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, let me go ahead and do these other Doc Martens. These are vintage, um, made in England. These are a size seven men, eight women. And I think what I'm going to do actually is just hit it with some conditioner after I wipe it down. You can tell it's pretty dry. You can, it actually has a, a bit of micro um, cracking on here. So hitting it with the uh, conditioner is going to be really good. All right, wiped off the dust and debris. And let's go ahead and use some of this. Okay. Hey there, uh, D. Thomas. Um, I actually clean first if it needs to be cleaned with Shoe MGK, which is also a conditioner, but it's more of a cleaner. But uh, because I have something that's extremely uh, dry, I'm actually just going to hit it with leather conditioner since it wasn't really dirty to begin with. This is my favorite conditioner just because of the viscosity. It's really easy to move around the leather spread around. And also, um, you know, I've heard of other products such as honey leather or leather honey, whatever it's called, and other brands, but really it's hard to move around. They have balms and different things like that. This is just like a liquid and it really quickly absorbs into your leather to hydrate it, where the those other ones kind of like, you really have to work on it. There's more friction between uh, what you're doing, getting the job done. So that's why I really like using Bic for And you can just tell if you feel it and if you can see it, that it's just really soaking it up into the leather. And yeah, um, actually I use this and my Shoe MGK on the show before actually I've, I've cleaned uh, Coach leather bags as well. I've gotten pen stains out and, you know, fading from your uh, color transfer from like your blue jeans. Um, I've done a bunch of that. You can go back and check out my YouTube channel on my live section on my page where I've cleaned all kinds of bags and things like that. I'll go ahead and leave it in the description for you. My goal is to hit a thousand subscribers, guys, so I'd really appreciate it uh, if you've learned anything so far or are interested in learning more to just go check out my channel, subscribe to it. I'll be posting a video probably today about cleaning a leather jacket. So we'll see how that goes and if I get around to it. So I'm gonna let that one dry and get to the other one here. And I essentially do the same thing um, with vintage purses as well. 
because uh, at the end of the day, leather's leather. You do need to be more delicate with vintage, but at the end of the day, um, vintage leather is just going to be more dehydrated. So it's best to really use a good hydrator to be very gentle with that leather when you are um, touching it and cleaning it. But leather's pretty durable. You'll just need maybe a little bit extra uh, conditioner to it. And a lot of those purses that I was just mentioning that I cleaned on my live on YouTube are vintage. Some of them are newer. I mean, just think about this shoe right now. This is a vintage Doc Martin shoe in very good condition, but very dry. And so I'm doing the same thing. Leather's leather. If it's vintage leather on a purse, whether it's vintage leather on a shoe, you're going to be treating it almost the same, if not the same. All right. So these are good. Let's go ahead and head back to the boot. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and rub it down, scrub it down. Getting a little bit of that dye, but I think we're okay. Brush is better. Can you elaborate a little bit, please? instead of a cloth you know um, it really depends on what you're doing and what usage you need the brush that I'm using um, is very delicate already but strong enough to get a lot of the dirt and debris off of leather don't use a hard brush of course um, on I would suggest on any leather but for exa example um, this one that I'm using by shoe MGK uh, is just a really good in between so because I wanted to get a lot of the dirt and debris off of this uh, leather Ariat boot, that's essentially what I'm doing. And you can use this on your purses and your jackets too, because it is soft. All right, so now that I got a lot of that uh, cleanliness issues off, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, let this dry a little bit and then we'll hit it with some um, leather conditioner. Let's get back to these ones. All right. And then I'm just gonna make sure that the coating is even by brushing it with a forehair or a horsehair brush. And these will be ready to go. And again, guys, if you're interested in any of these, I'm cleaning these and restoring them so that uh, they can get to their next home. So if you're interested, go ahead and let me know. I can run it for you and ship it out to you today. All right, 
and those ones were again these are pretty rare um i've never seen a model like this made in england vintage these are so it's uk size six which is a women's seven sorry a women's eight and a men's seven women's eight but i also have tons and tons of dog martens on my uh, closet so if you want to head up to the top um name up there out of ummies you guys can go ahead and check out i'd love to give you an extra discount today since you've been in the show so if you find something let me know now these are really really cool i like this style a lot it's super classy these are um, vintage genuine ralph lauren um, wingtip brogue uh, oxford shoes so let's go ahead and identify they're pretty dusty and worn um, but they're actually in very good condition meaning like the heel isn't really worn down the leather itself though it has some scuffing isn't too deep so let's go ahead and see what we can do with these it's really important to take care of your high quality expensive leather like this one and I am going to be doing the same thing, whether it's, you know, newer leather, vintage leather. I'm going to take my shoe MGK and just get at it. Yeah, I'm using Shoe MGK. And um, really just a versatile product. I love using it uh, because I clean so many different types and types of material on shoes and jackets. Then once that suds has occurred, let's go ahead and wipe it off so that um, any of the dirt and grime that's been lifted with those suds is coming off cleanly and as you guys can see that really darkened the leather because it is a little bit wet or damp but it's not going to stay that color so just keep that in mind and we are going to condition this after as well All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the other shoe while this one dries a little bit. But actually, I'm seeing something on the inside of the... Uh, the holes on the brogue portion on the brogue in here. So let me try to see if any of that can come out. Actually, just gonna use a paper clip. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I love doing this. Uh, really enjoy doing this type of work so um let me know if you guys have any questions we'll just continue to do our speed cleaning today let me go ahead and try to scrub that out I 
I think it might be some type of wax or or um, just buildup of polish or something that was on there from before. This is looking really good. Let's get to the next one while that one dries. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Let's get a little bit more solution on here. And again, this is concentrated, guys, so you actually don't need that much. Make sure you get a little bit of water so that the suds begin. and then wipe it off. You guys want to make sure that you don't use too much water. You don't want to get your leather soaked. Damp is okay. All right, and as we wait for this one to dry, let's go ahead and get back to this one and add some leather conditioner. And then we're actually going to use some Shoe MGK cream, which is kind of more like a balm as a protective hydration barrier. Remove this way, we're really, really um, preserving the leather here for many years to come because this is just, you guys, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but this construction of this shoe is very, very high quality from Ralph Lauren. And this isn't one of the diffusion lines or anything like that. That's the genuine um like essentially luxury line and this one i believe is vintage made in england as well so all right let's go ahead and do the same thing to this one here And this is a great way, um, you know, that you can teach your friends and your family, your significant other, um, if they're not familiar. Because again, guys, 
you're going to be spending a lot of money on shoes that are going to last you a long time. That's what I would suggest. Don't get that faux leather stuff that's just going to crack within a max two years, if not sooner. Um, but leather like this, I mean, these are vintage. These are probably 20 plus years old and they are still in really good condition. But doing this is going to make them last even more years to come. Um, something if you guys haven't noticed or you've watched in my video yet, um, maybe you know it, but 300 million pairs of shoes are thrown away every year. And it takes about 30 to 40 years for one pair of shoes to decompose. Of course, it depends on what the material is made from them, but um, just to get an idea on average. So definitely want to consider what you can do uh, what you can buy your shoes, how you can take care of them so that they last you a really long time. And even if you don't wear them anymore, at least you can preserve them and trade them out, um, sell them for high value to somebody else who will wear them. At the end of the day, I mean, we can just keep that cycle going and take care of the environment that way. All right, so these are good. Now, I do want them to dry just a little bit more before I put the leather cream. So let's get it to another pair of shoes while these ones dry. All right, let's do some more cowboy boots. I actually did a little bit of work on this before because I uh, mistakenly uh, was going to ship these out. I have two pair. When I cleaned one, I didn't clean yet. So this is the one I didn't clean. Let's go ahead and do that same process. It might be a little bit boring for you guys, but um, essentially, uh, again, today we're just doing a speed round. We're not really doing any restorations, only cleaning. And this is pretty much the same process on various fabrics and materials that I do. All right, so these are pretty good. Again, they were just kind of dusty. I will add some polish on the front to there. Actually, I'll use some of the um, Shoe MGK leather cream on these. Let's get these ones done first. And just as you guys can see, um, the cleaning makes a huge difference. This is the cleaned one. This is the dirty one. You can see all that dust, dirt and grime on there. And then this one, much cleaner. It doesn't, and it really depends on how dirty the boot is. These ones are relatively clean already. But yeah, these are a pair of Tony Llama. Really cool. I think it's, I'm not sure if this is bull shoulder leather on the front because it's um, more of like that wrinkled style. If you guys know, tell me. All right, then let's go ahead and use the leather cream. Right here. And essentially just gonna take a little bit of it, rub it in, and it gives it, number one, a protective barrier for all kinds of debris, but also 
protection um, so that the moisture or the oils that are in the leather itself are have a hydration barrier for the leather, which is really important, especially when these are around a lot of dust and dirt. All right, very good. Gonna let that dry, let's do the other one. You don't wanna use too much of this because it can be a little sticky because it's like waxy, waxy, oily. And this will darken your leather slightly. So just keep that in mind. I'm using black leather here. Uh, so it really doesn't make too much of a color difference. But if you have something like a brown or a tan, this will lightly darken that. But the cleaner does not. All right, so now these boots are looking really nice. And again, if anybody's interested in these, I can get these out to you. These are a size 11, a men's 11, Tony Lama. Okay, so that was really quick and easy. Let's get to another pair. And I'm actually gonna come back to this one here. This was the uh, area boot, as and if you guys remember, I did do a video on that. You can check it out. And um, I'm gonna essentially just use my big four now to get the haziness from the leather dye off. Seems like I'm running out. I need to get some more. And I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and we'll move to another boot. These ones are interesting. What are these? These are also a pair of Tony Lama size 10. Now these, um, you can tell they're more of an oiled leather. You can see because of the darkness, they definitely need a clean as well. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get our shoe MGK. You can just tell they're very dry and dusty. Really important to get in the welt stitching if you can. And then now that it's nice and suds, let's wipe off that so that any of that dirt and debris just comes off. Now, something that I want to do with this one is put oils into it so that um, we can get a lot of that color back. Now, it looks like I don't know if I have any 
straight mink oil. So what I'm going to do is heat up some of the Shu MGK leather cream on top of here so that it really soaks in. And uh, let's go ahead and try that, see what how it works. Let me go ahead and grab my heat gun. All right, have my heat gun here. And I'm actually going to take, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Again, I'm kind of theorizing here, but because I don't have straight mink oil, um, I'm just going to lather up some of this leather cream to hopefully get some richness to soak into the leather. And we may want to do this a few times. But I think it's working, at least to some degree. Let's get some more on there. And a lot of it is just aesthetic, just to get that discoloration or in uneven coloration that is there. So I'm going to add a bit more there. And we'll heat it up again. And I really want to massage it in there. So I'm going to use some pressure. And I might need to um, do this a few more times as well. But as far as I can see, it's it's doing something. So I'm liking how that's turning out. And the rest of the boot is looking really good as well. But as you guys can see, it's really a rich, dark oil. And so let's get to the other side of the boot. And this one seems to be a little dirtier. So let's go ahead and give it a nice scrub down.
So we're seeing a bit of the same issues here. Something I want to do is stuff this boot. And that's really something you want to do with all of your leather products when they're not in use is stuff them so that it can have so the creases and the leather can be filled out so that it doesn't continue to dry out and crease and sag. You can do that with shoe trees as well if you have those. This gives it some form here. All right, I do want to get the scissors and cut that portion off right there. All right. And let's go ahead and use our Shroom DK cream. I'm really lathering it on here. Usually that's not something you want to do, um, but because this is a really deep oiled leather, that's fine kind of what you want it to look like and how you want it to feel. And then we'll heat it up. All right, so we'll continue to let that dry. This one's looking good here. We can even buff this one off now. Make sure that there's an even coat. And that is a hydrated and protected boot again. Okay, does anybody have any questions? Um, I think I'm gonna do just a few more shoes. I don't really have an end here, but let me go ahead and just um, pick probably one more pair of shoes here. And I've chosen these All Saints Chelsea boots. First of all, you guys can see that they're pretty dry. You can even see that the leather midsole is cracking here. Um, it may need some re as well. Let's see to, to what extent we can bring these back to life. And I'll leave this one here so we can see a before and after. This will be the last pair of shoes that I do actually today. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. First of all, I'm going to stuff it so I can have some structure. All 
Oh, this is interesting. I didn't notice this before. There's zips on both sides. That's pretty cool. All right, and it's dirty, so let's go ahead and suds it up. All right, so these are looking really good so far, um, but I do know that because they're damp, um, it kind of fills in that lack of color, but once they dry, they're kind of going to get back to that place. But let's go ahead and quickly take off some of this scuffing, this white portion here. I just took a straight shoe MGK on this microfiber cloth and I'm rubbing it down. All right, that's looking good. We'll probably um, dye this midsole anyways, black. Okay, so for dyeing the midsole, I'm actually gonna take some Touch Up Shoe MGK in black, and that's what we're gonna use. I'm actually not gonna get it on the leather portion because I don't want the leather to have a shiny look. And as I've experienced this um, Touch Up, leaves um, kind of like a glossy finish, which I I don't want. So I'm going to be really careful not to get that on the leather itself, at least for th just this type of leather. And how have you guys liked the uh, show so far today? Uh, do you guys have any tips or suggestions for me on how I can do shows later? And if you just like the show, feel free to give some hearts so I can just get an idea of what you guys are looking for. Thank you, guys. And this midsole is looking really nicely, actually. Happy with how that's turning out. We might go back and do this one more time, depending on how it looks when it dries. All right. So I'm actually going to go ahead and re-dye some of the portions of the leather, especially on the toe. We might just go around the whole boot.
like I'm making a bit of a mess here. All right, that's looking really good. Let's go ahead because I added alcohol, rubbing alcohol to this dye. It actually dries very quickly. Um, let's go ahead and condition it. I always want to um, condition it after I've used the leather dye because for one, there's a haziness that I, I've only um, come to the conclusion that the leather conditioner takes that uh, haziness or that film off. And then two is that because I use rubbing alcohol, it's extremely drying. And so we want to make sure that we hydrate it after that rubbing alcohol. All All right, this is looking really good, guys. And it's feeling much more hydrated. As you guys can see, the leather is just soaking up this conditioner. All right, I'm actually gonna let this dry a little bit. And you know what? Um, I'm not sure if I'll do the other boot. If this turns out like a huge difference, I actually might just make a, a video for this shoe. What do you guys think? You want a whole video, a YouTube video on this one? So you can go back and um, see some really, you know, close up front video um, shots of the boot. I'm just going to use this horsehair brush now to just really even out the uh, conditioner. Super pleased with how this turned out. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but uh, <laughs> if you guys take a quick look, you can see that this is kind of like a greenish black, dark green 
uh, just due to the dryness, even the midsole here, very, very, very dry, scuffing, just out of shape, so you guys can see. But then with the dye and the coloration, the hydration, I'm going to get that in a second. Really just brought this All Saints boot back to life. And it's ready to wear again. So there's a few things. Uh, I could polish this a little bit, but um, what I really want is just to keep this kind of like matte looking. I think that was how it was intended. So I'm just going to leave it as is. But really happy with how that one turned out. So should I just go ahead and clean this other one right now with you guys? Or would you like me to make a video on it? And again, I'll leave that in the description here. Go ahead and try to get this one off. <laughs> All right. That's good. Very classy boots. Anyways, you know, we'll consider that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean up, get ready to shoot all these uh, boots. And then um, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, again, my name is Evan. Today's show has been just a quick speed run of cleaning all kinds of leather um, boots and shoes. Doc Martens, Tony Lama, All Saints. And um, just showing you guys how you can preserve your leather um, you may think that it's done for, it's ruined, it's finished. You know, maybe you wouldn't wear that again, but maybe, just maybe, you might want to wear that and sport that out in your closet. So um, this has been a presentation of that. Thank you guys for being here with me for all the questions and the support. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.